Good morning from the Helen Wilson Gallery at the Washington Public Library. Today I'm going to take you on a virtual tour of the Helen Wilson Gallery. Because we have been closed, uh, our patrons have not been able to get a chance to come in and see the beautiful artwork that we've had on display over the past month. Uh, the ones that we have right now are March masterpieces. Of course, now we're into April. And I'd like to give you just a short tour of all the really wonderful pieces so you can enjoy them from the comfort of your couch. I'm going to read the summary of this exhibit, Let's Paint a Masterpiece. For the past few years, one of the classes offered by the Lex Center for the Healing and Creative Arts here in Washington is Let's Paint a Masterpiece. And in this class, a poster of a masterpiece painting is displayed as a source of inspiration, and everyone paints their own version of it. This has resulted in an amazing variety of styles of many well-known paintings. And painting in this way gives us an opportunity not only to learn about established artists and their work, but also to stretch our own creative muscles and try something we might not normally try. Some of the artists exhibiting here have painted before, some have not. Some of the paintings are incomplete, but all of the artists have demonstrated wonderful talent and have shown what can be accomplished when we take a chance and step outside and inside the world of art. So the first one we're going to look at is the Vincent van Gogh irises. This is the, of course, original uh, print of the painting that Vincent van Gogh did. And then here are some of the beautiful de depictions by the artists who participated. These are perfect for spring. Makes me think about my irises that are starting to come up in my garden. I just noticed the other day all the little shoots are coming up. Won't be long before they'll be blooming. I'm going to move on to our next painting, Nor'easter, by Winslow Homer. There's the original there on the top, a print of it, and then one of the depictions by the artists. I love the movement of the water. I can hear the roar of the ocean. Just a lovely job. Okay, we're going to move on now to a little chill with the winter landscape with church by Pastor David Sidrick. We're all kind of sick of the cold in the winter, but this certainly brings out a chill. And I love how you can see the church in the background. And for me, I love how it mirrors the trees. one is quite playful. The Giant by N.C. Wyeth is the original print. Of course, we can all think of all those times when we look up in the sky as children or even now as adults and we see clouds and what those clouds look like to us sometimes are fantastical. These children are enjoying something they're seeing in the sky. Here's some color for your day. Henri Matisse, open window. Looks like sailboats out there. And the artist's own depiction of it. Colors are so warm. Almost feel the breeze. Now we're going to move on to a Georgia O'Keeffe. And the artist. 
this depiction. It seems like a very famous painting to me. It seems as if I've seen this somewhere often. Belladonna by George O'Keefe. Looks like it gets swallowed up in the flower with going down down inside. These are some more at the end. Um, a few other paintings, some different ones. We don't have the original depictions here, but we have some that the artists have done. And probably you will recognize several of these because they are all pretty famous paintings. The Kiss, I know, is one that was always my favorite. I've loved that one for years. That's beautiful reproduction there. A couple more. I the one on the one on the bottom I recognize from a book. I believe the pearl earring perhaps they used that on the cover of that book. And a, a beautiful depiction of our little village, the village on the corner in Washington. Okay, we're going to turn around to the other side of the gallery and we're going to catch a couple more. Here's Spring Morning by Maxfield Parish. Very dreamy. And here are the artist depictions that they have done. Spring morning, just the two words themselves sound wonderful. And we'll move on down here to the next set. I'm going to do a Vincent van Gogh, Starry, Starry Night. I love swirls and spirals. I've always been drawn to swirls and spirals. So this painting often speaks to me. Nothing swirling intrigues me. what these artists have done with their own versions of Starry Starry Night. I don't know if you all got to see the moon last night. It was fabulous. I took some photographs. I wish I could have painted it. It would have been even more wonderful. Okay, we're going to finish up with this last one. Zazan. Those quiches look perfectly ripe, ready to eat. <laughs> There's the artist's depictions. Okay. And that completes our tour for today in our beautiful Helen Wilson Gallery. I will probably do another tour of some of our permanent artwork in the library another day. So look for that coming up. We miss all of our patrons and we will be anxious when we can have you back in our gallery enjoying the artwork. Have a great day.